first glance, this might look like your typical dairy farm here in the heartland of America. We probably have about 32,000 acres that we own. We milk on 11 sites. We have 11 parlors. And we're milking right now probably a little over 36,000 cows. But what makes this Indiana farm unique isn't what you see, it's what you smell. These cows are full of it, and it's not just milk. So you don't just have all these cows here for producing milk. It's actually really a great story. We take two products, milk and manure. They're both separated from the cow, the manure here in the barns, the milk in the milking parlor, and they come together as renewable natural gas on a tanker truck that then is able to deliver that milk all over the upper Midwest. What you see behind me is Fair Oaks Farm's $19 million investment in sustainability. Each year, they produce over 2 million gallons of clean natural gas fuel. To put this into perspective, that's enough to fully fuel 35 747s. It's even enough to fuel a whole fleet of Fair Oaks Farm's milk trucks, which they do every day right here down on the farm. This new future of green energy lies in this innovation, a highly efficient anaerobic digester which converts the manure into compressed natural gas. Well, we produce about 500,000 gallons of liquid manure from the four dairies that go into the central digester. How do you deal with all the manure they're producing constantly every day? We use a vacuum tanker, so every time that the cows go in to be milked, three times a day, we vacuum all the manure out of the aisles, collect it, and take it to the digester. And that's where the Amp America's technology for cleaning the gas comes in. Manure is poured into the digester and heated. Microbes break it down, creating a biogas which is captured and piped as renewable natural gas. The leftover liquid is used as fertilizer. We're taking something that potentially could be a contaminant to the environment, mm -hmm. totally taking that out of the picture. Right. We kid around here that we're taking something like cow manure and making rocket science out of it. We feel pretty good about that. So what do we got here? We got the future. The future's laying right in front of you. This is a little heifer calf that was born uh, within the last 45 minutes, and uh, this is what it's all about. How many of these little guys are born each day? You know, roughly, probably right now with our new barn open, 140 to 150. Wow. So this isn't just really the cycle of life. This is start of the whole cycle that you have going on here. You're growing the crops from the manure, and the crops go to feed the cows, which make the milk, which make the methane, and it all goes back into producing the crops to feed little guys like this one. It's a perfect circle, almost, with, with virtually no waste. So right here is the start of the whole process. This is the start of the process. The feed, the farm, that's the start of the process. Mark gave me an up-close look at the amazing technology which makes it all possible. So basically now we're standing on top of the 6.2 million gallon digester. So this whole thing is basically like a giant cow gut. The same bacteria, the same enzymes that are in her gut, breaking down organic material and producing gas, do so in the tank, except this time we capture it instead of her belching it. And then what comes out, you reuse. It's also a part of your sustainability, right? Yes, actually all of the nutrients stay in the liquid. So that gets returned to the land, just like we've always used it for fertilizer in the dairy industry. I see a lot of farms having the ability to replicate this model and, and turn uh, their byproducts into real energy and um, help save the planet. Does it feel any different than a diesel engine? No, it still has the same, same amount of power and everything like that. It's obviously cleaner and uh, I, I have noticed no difference as far as power-wise, as far as pulling loads or anything like that. Could you show me? Sure. In the face of climate change, nearly every major industry is going to have to adapt and evolve. It's inspiring, then, to see sustainability on such a large scale, right here in the heartland of America. Sustainability has always been a part of our farming operations. Uh, we just keep taking it to, to different levels because yeah. to survive in the 21st century, you're going to need sustainability, creativity, technology, innovation to get us there. You guys want some ice cream? Yeah! And that grass to glass thinking has made this farm and its ice cream famous. What flavors do you want? Strawberry. 
Have you guys seen any cows here on the farm today? Yeah. What were they doing? Pooping. <laughs> I've been seeing cows poop on this farm all day today. This is better than any ice cream. This is better than any ice cream you've ever had. Uh -huh. Is this kind of one of your proudest achievements in farming? You've been farming for years and years. Is this something that you really, just really take pride in? Oh yeah, how can you not? I mean, the opportunity, one, just to interact with, with uh, people like we are, to create this uh, edutainment center, if you will, the, the things we're doing with the environment, the things we're doing with our animals. I mean, this is just uh, a nirvana for anybody that's involved in farming and agriculture. It's terrific. Only on Al Jazeera America. A team of scientists are taking their inspiration from nature. Technology is a vital part of who we are. They had some dynamic fire behavior. And what we do. Transcranial direct stimulation. Don't try this at home. Techno's team of experts show you how the miracles of science. This is my selfie. What can you tell me about my future? Can affect and surprise us. Sharks like affection. Catch new episodes of Techno on Al Jazeera America. Check your local listings or visit aljazeera.com.